beautiful wax. Uh, well, couldn't be colder in the shed today, but we must crack on and uh, we have bag six. I mean, they're just getting bigger, aren't they? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right then, shall we do the knob? Right then, FOX, shall we? Uh, let's do the last of our minifigures here. Um, Bevis uh, wanted to point out about uh, my ballerina with the poo tights. Um, a little close up there. Half a marble. Yeah. That's. Uh, it's only my ballerina that has poo in her tights. Well, that's kind of... Oh, will you look at him? What do you think? Is that a him or a her? Mm, I think it's a him. Um, bring our minifigures out of sight. Oh, thanks. I, I, but this is the point, brothers. This is what I, I need to have discussed at some length. The fact that that my minifigure seems to have a whooping great poo in her pants. Now, what's going on, please? What's going on? Nobody's answered me that. Absolutely nobody has come up with, oh, well, this is why there's a there's a poo in your minifigure's tights. Absolutely nobody. And well, I think really that it's perfectly acceptable for me to ask the question, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's entirely acceptable. Um, of course, I'm dealing with an enormous knoll again. This will come as no surprise to anybody. It's just, it's just null, tastic at the moment. Oh, I need one of those. Okay. Um, so half the challenge is just going to be finding the bit. But we persevere. We Apple Wax. There's a lot of club business to get through. Um, had lots of lovely messages from people yesterday which is how I like it I like people to get involved uh, to feel involved in club business so if you're a, a silent watcher and haven't yet got in touch and you know do get in touch a shout out, that's for sure so um, let's start with Kath Pearson Kath Pearson of the of the Pearson fame of course she's already uh, elevated to the land of Affelwack legend, for it is she. If you're if you're new to our channel, uh, it is Kath Pearson, um, for whom we do the Pearson. Uh, she put in a request saying, please, after you've done the 
the the knoll, please can you um, um hang on one two three four five six yeah it is that big bit what is this big bit um can you please do a sweep over so that in case you didn't know is why it is called the Pearson and it is why we do it. We accommodate all wishes of the Affleck community here at Relax with Lego. It's not just a 52 year old woman sitting in a shed freezing her tits off uh, talking to herself for hours on end. Oh no, 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 no. I'm actually wearing a hat today. That's how cold it is. A great big hairy hat. Like a sort of like a Russian spy. That sort of hat. That's what I'm wearing. This is what I'm putting myself through for you. Because I am absolutely determined that we are going to get to do the gingerbread house before Christmas. That was the promise. Hang on a minute. And that's what you're going to get wait just wait please one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven, yes okay of course it doesn't help that I'm slightly distracted there when I was actually looking at uh, the wrong thing but I've got a great big whopper coming in here There. Right. And now this. You have to get this bit right, you know. Or all peril can therefore flow. Right, yes. And a bluey, bluey six. Which way does it go? That way. Bluey six, bluey six, bluey six, bluey six. Right, Kath Pearson. She's been back in touch. And uh, she tells me that her dad lives in Canada. About an hour from Toronto. I very much enjoyed the... The Canada chat that we've had over the last couple of days has been most illuminating. Just hang on a minute while I get this entirely correct, if you please. Or entirely correct is what it needs to be. Look at that. Really? Really? Oh, all right. I'm going to turn that over. Vivid, 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 cool. And now, how often do you see your dad, Kath Pearson, if if he lives off in um, Canada? It's be tricky. Mind you, now we've got Skype. It's um, it's no bother, is it now with Skype? Doesn't matter where you are, you can chat away merrily on a daily basis. I'm saving. Um, actually, no, I will. I'll 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 go straight to to Gillian B. I do recommend, um, if you would like to know some more interesting things about Canada, then um, go and 
go and have a look at, at Gillian B's um, uh, long poem. Actually, let's go. Let's go down for this. Um, Longish posts, and please don't apologise for them, Gillian B, because I really like them. I think they're really good. They're very informative, and I appreciate you taking the time to um, write in such detail. I think it's great. You don't need to be apologising for that. One, two, three, four, Yes. One, two, three, four. Where is that? Right. And then... No, they're down here, so let me say they are. got them under my notes. So I've got more to tell you from Julian B. Who is Canadian, so I do obviously have to attempt to... Uh, my very bad Canadian accent now, so... You know, prepare yourself. Okay, so Gillian B. Uh, she she she's written a very helpful comment about Canadian accents, and uh, she said, "So we say outside rather than outside, outside rather than outside, beg rather than bag, a boot rather than about. Yeah. Outside, I'm going out outside." going out outside to get me bag and then I'm going a boot Is that right I mean day I'm going out I'm going outside to get me bag and go in a boot no I mean it's it's just really really bad isn't it just really bad really bad um, but anyway, she says, uh, she goes on, she says, uh, um, she asks me about whether I'm going to be sent on an urgent errand when Perry comes to lunch. And um, the answer to that, Gillian B, is that no, I, I will not be sent on an urgent errand when Perry from off of that there, the, the little mix, uh, comes comes uh, for lunch because clearly I will have to cook it so um, no in answer to your question that's not going to happen no no not gonna happen oh, I've got my, these little monkeys I do like this number number two setting i think it's really super uh oh i've got a sneeze oh no oh no <coughs> oh sorry bevis <sighs> sorry bevis he hates it when i do the things at least i gave you warning that you could you know turn your turn it down turn the volume down Quickly, while that happened, we don't we don't edit things out here. And relax with Lego. You, you need to understand that if you're if you're fresh to the group. Actually, let's go out for this bit. So we need um. Bevis is being rude again about my cheat about my creaky chair and suggesting that it is not the creaky chair and that it, it somehow is my anus. Well, you're wrong. I will see you in court, Bevis Muscle. I will see you in court. Do you understand? Absolute disgrace. Disgraceful. I think it's there. I've done that a bit. 
I've done that a bit. No, look, I've, I've been wild there with my placement. Absolutely wild with it. Oh, look, we've got lovely tiling. Oh, lovely tiling. Lovely tiling. Lovely, lovely tiling. Lovely tiling. Lovely tiling. Thank you. Eat your heart out, Alison Wilder. Eat your heart out. Um, ba bum bum ba bum ba bum. Oh, quite a lot of business going on now. Okay. Right, let's come out for the quite a lot of business that is going to now occur. I'm not done with Gillian uh, B because uh, she's given me uh, some more info. So she tells me. That's a, a one dollar coin uh, in Canada is called a loony. I'm, I'm going, oh, I'm going outside with me bag and me loony. No, I mean, I'm just making Gillian B sound as if she lives on a Scottish island uh, that has never been discovered. That That's... That's what I'm doing there. That, that's what I've done there. I just out outside with my loony. Oh, Emma, just stop doing it. Please stop it. I can't. I just, I just want to get it right. I just want to get it right. Just, just stop it. One, two, three, four. I mean, that... That's a bold placement, given my propensity to place things very, very badly. Uh, we may be revisiting that, of course. We may be revisiting. I'm feeling weirdly uh, confident about it. You? Weirdly confident? Are you insane? <laughs> you got to stop discouraging me okay i mean there's a reason why the ballerina had a poo in her tights and only you got it oh, that's so rude it's so rude look here's my notes look this is what i do i write i write it out that's what happens that, that's the level of my dedication uh, to the apple white community not only do I sit and read what you say to me, I'll write it out so I can share it. Who, el who, who else does that in the, in the adult fans of Lego community? Nobody, I think you'll find. Absolutely nobody. So in your face, there are people who get like one million views. In your face. We provide a very niche and very personal service here at Relax With Lego, as you all very much know. I'm not really paying attention, which as you know is dangerous. I'm, I'm just declaring that right now, that, that I feel as if I'm a little bit out of control. I can see there's going to have to be adjudications. Well, well, I'm just warning you, Mr. Graham Triggs, that I feel a little bit out of control today, and I'm not entirely sure that I'm paying proper attention. Okay? I can't say fairer than that. I've given you fair warning. Right, back to Gillian B. So, their one dollar coin in Canada is called a loony. A, a, lo a, a, a loony! A boot, a boot with me bag in a loony. I mean, a, a 
boot with me, but I'm going to look. No, let's just give it. And um, a $2 coin is called a, 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 now this could be a twoony or a twoony. Twoony or, or t I don't quite know whether it's twoony or twoony. Um, and the loony is called a loony because it's got a picture of a loon on it. Oh, a picture of you then. Sorry, what? What? Who said that? Um, and a, it's a twoony or a twoony, T W O O N I E. I mean, I'm going. I'm going to go for twoony. Um, outside with me bag and me twoony. No, stop it. Just stop it. Because it's got a polar bear on it. So that's interesting, isn't it? If you've never been. How come a, a polar bear is called a, a twoon? Is it called a twoon or a twoon? A twoon? Is that, I, I, I might need um, some clarification on that, please, Gillian B, as to why a polar bear is referred to uh, as a twoon. I don't know. Why. I don't know. All these things we learn on Relax with Lego. Hey, hey! Going out, out, outside, outside with me bag, with me bag, with me bag, out, outside with me bag to go boot with me loony toony. Mm. Anyway, um, a poutine, you will recall. Yesterday, she made some suggestion that um, that if you if you go to Canada, you can you can eat poutine, and I I was not sure what poutine was, and uh, it turns out I wasn't far off. If you remember, I sort of made a guess it was some sort of potatoey cheese thing, and it turns out that it is a potatoey cheese thing and that um, it's chips french fries covered in cheese curds and then smothered in gravy now I will admit that, that sort of at first listen to that fries covered in cheese curds, smothered in gravy, it doesn't immediately strike me um, as sounding like something that is utterly delicious. But, but, I'm prepared to accept that I may be entirely wrong about that. Entirely wrong. You know, there will be a reason that it's so enormously popular. So, there it is. Now, pay attention, Anna. There is danger brewing. Pay attention, please, Anna. Pay attention, please. Please pay attention. Hmm, what's this going to be, do we wonder? Look at me paying attention. Just watch it, will you? Watch me paying attention. Hmm. I think we're doing all of these. Shall we go in for this? Yes, let's go in for it. You can probably hear my um, the rustling of uh, the puffer jacket I'm having to wear. I might remove it actually because I can appreciate that that's probably really annoying to listen to. Uh, for any length of time, and um, I I have warmed, and I have warmed up a little bit now. So that'll explain it. Okay. So I'll just do this, and then I'll take it off. All right, because I know that Gary Blair is very sensitive, and uh, ditto ditto Bevis, and they don't like it when there's extraneous 
noises on the microphone, uh, to wit, creaky chair, um, little burps, etc. Anyway, I've done it. I've taken it off, okay? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, that I'm absolutely freezing. But anything for you, anything for you, anything for you. Let's go out again. Doing another one of those. So, uh, back to Gillian B. Um, now, you, you may recall that uh, we discovered when we were doing the, the little lab, little hidden hidden side lab, or hidden, I can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, the one where you point your phone at it. Uh, when we were doing the lab, uh, Gillian B revealed that she works in a lab. Do you remember that? Do you remember? Do you remember? And, um, she's given us further information on that so what she does uh, she works with bacteria i think i told you that yesterday um that's a worry that's a worry there's supposed to be three of those there it is i found it it's all right i found it i found it that's the end of the panic thank you for coming to my panic thank you Thank you. Panic is now concluded. Um, so she works with bacteria, and she in tells me that that she work the bacteria she works with is whatever grows from a patient. Sorry, I need to do it in Julian B's voice, don't I? It when um, when I'm outside with me bag outside with me. Beggar me loony and me toony, I do whatever grows, whatever grows from, from a, a patient specimen. I mean, okay, have you ever heard a worse attempt at an accent? Just whatever grow, what, what, whatever grows from a pa patient, patient spe specimen, whatever grows from a patient specimen, I mean... only apologise to them being absolutely shocking. Anyway, um, so she deals with things like E. coli and salmonella and all those sort of horrible things. And my question to you now, Gillian B, is um, have you ever uh, caught a bacteria from the bacteria, if that makes sense? Have, have you ever picked up a bacteria uh, from having to uh, involve yourself in horrible bacteria, because sometimes in in like films like Outbreak, they 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 catch the bacteria, don't they? There, there's a there can be like a dramatic piercing. Uh, oh no, something's on the floor. Something's on the floor. Better give that up. Something's on the floor. <laughs> well, that's interesting because that's interesting because I don't know where that's come from. Anyway, okay, it's on the floor, so we'll just put it there. Might have fallen off something else. Don't know what though. Where was I up to? Oh yes, I was up to here. So yes, yeah, so sometimes in films like Outbreak, as I said, there can be a, a dramatic piercing with 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 dramatic music, um, a dramatic lighting, flickering lighting that that suggests that something horrific has just occurred, um, followed inevitably by by some sort of terrified acting. And I'm just idly wondering, Gillian B, uh, whether you've ever been in that scenario, and whether Dustin Hoffman uh, came and, and 
and held your face close to his own uh, or pressed his hand up against a a glass door that you've been shut into because everyone now knows that that you are that that, that you are sort of full of full of bad bacteria let me go in on this because i think this is rather nice so look we've got these hammers and we're pushing them into the back of here comme ça anyway let us know please Gillian B lot of Gillian B news today but that's all right we like it we like to catch up with the Afawax Wild Renaissance with, will be very pleased to know that, that Mr. Graham Triggs has not adjudicated uh, on her sassing of me uh, yesterday. Uh, that's his, been adjudicated not to be a sass. <sighs> I mean, it's just opening the floodgates as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely opening the floodgates. It's just open season. Open season on sassing me. I can feel it coming out again. Uh, where are we up to? Well, I've done that. Okay, now we need these. Oh, we're making three of these, all right. Three of these. God, how are we at half an hour already? I haven't even started on the rest of the club news. Better rattle through the rest of the club news. I'll rattle through it after I've done this. Okay. Right, rest of club news. Oh. So, Wild Renaissance. Now, Wild Renaissance, um, you may recall uh, yesterday, I was wondering um, what her voice should be, because obviously she does write in uh, quite a lot, and uh, she deserves to have her own uh, club voice. Or the voice that, that she actually speaks with. So I'm I'm informed by her that um, oh that must be that way. All right. So I'm informed by her that um, her voice. Hang on, please. Uh, she's actually from the Midlands. So I'm presuming some sort of Birmingham style scenario would be appropriate uh, in this instance. You'll be glad to know that it's also another accent I struggle with. Let's come in for this because I think we're making something nice here. Um, you'll be delighted to know. But Gary Blair has, <laughs> has stepped into the conversation here. And Gary Blair uh, has made a quite different suggestion uh, as to what uh, our, our good friend Wild Renaissance should sound like. And I'm, I'm going to read it to you uh, now. Uh, obviously, we've now established that Mr Gary Blair sounds as if he comes from a very small village, uh, probably in the Lake District or somewhere in Yorkshire. Um, I reckon Wild Renaissance should have the voice of a turn of the century, 20th century 
French brothel owner, heavy on the absinthe and gitan, who trucks no messing from her high-class customers and keeps her girls in check with, by turns, rewards of macarons and threats of cigar burns. That's how I hear her anyway, I do. I just do not know where Mr Gary Blair gets his ideas from, do you? Do you? What? Who said that? I mean, it's just, they're a bit, you know, out there, aren't they? These, these ideas of Gary Blair's. Well, yes, they are a bit out there, but... Oh, gang, this is for nickety. Look, it's obviously another toilet, Bevis. It's obviously another toilet. Let me just... Obviously another toilet. Unless it's a sink, but it looks to me like it could be a toilet. By the way, what do we think? What do we think this is? A little fire? Hmm. Discuss, discuss. Anyway, it made me laugh because uh, Wild Renaissance had made us, had told me about her coming from the Midlands, and then uh, she came back after she saw the Gary Blair suggestion, with and I could feel her almost screaming this, almost screaming it, and she said. Scrap my voice, comment, do Gary Blair's ideal. Is that how you wanted it, Gary Blair? Just wondering. <laughs> All right, that's, that's now how Wild Renaissance sounds. Okay, it's official. Lou, 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 lou. My name is Wild Renaissance. La 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 la. I will threaten you with macarons and cigar burns. <laughs> oh, now this is a lovely self referential feature. Let me just show you. Look, they've included a little leg. We're making a little box of Lego. That's lovely, isn't it? Yes, it is, Emma. Thank you. And that's going in there. Now, that's going over here. Yeah, we might have to stop soon. This is dragging on and on today. Not dragging on and on. It's not like it. We're all bored out of our, out of our boxes. Not even remotely bored. Thank you. Just checking. No, miss. Oh, I was about to miss an entire section. <gasps> Can you imagine the kerfuffle if I had? Right, we're going in because it's tiling. Wild Renaissance has put in a request for a t-shirt and uh, she would like a t-shirt that says uh, on it I am a 52 year old woman standing in front of a box of Lego asking it to love me well all right I'll, I'll give that some thought I'll give that some thought, I promise you. I promise you. Now. One of those. I'll come out again, I think, for this. One of those. One of those. Or a corner. That's, I think, toilet, what do you think? I don't know if 
free. Oh, I've got cold toes. Longy. I went to see Noises Off last night uh, with my great pal Sarah Hadland and, uh, and also Mira Sial, who of course you will remember I worked with on uh, Goodness Gracious Me. And it was hilarious. If you've never seen Noises Off, I thoroughly recommend it. It's one of those things where it's in three acts and uh, it starts off and you're thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then it just, it just explodes into absolute madness. Now then, where did that go? Oh, it's there. There. And okay, just checking I've got all the bits and the bobs done. I'm being very careful today, very careful today. All right, we'll do a little bit more because we've got something nice now coming up. So we'll go in, go in. Creaky chair, creaky chair. So creaky. Do your worst, Bevis. looks obviously like some sort of little oven unit doesn't it I'd say so oh have we had a colouring for that Mr Gary Blair if not could we please could we please colouring for that thanks it's not even on properly Bevis will be furious it is now Thank you. Now, where's that? Where's that piece? Oh, Lord above. Where are you? Where are you, little odd grey piece that I've never seen before? Where are you? Where are you? It's not that. It's not this. It's not that that I'm talking about. That goes in there. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we've had that bit before. I may be uh, challenged on that, but I really don't think we have. Our old pal, the tap. Then, all those. And is it the, the round one? Yeah. going in here so obviously this is some sort of little kitchen or a kitchenette um, This 
is here. Had that at the wrong place. Okay. And I have missed out a bit. I mean, at least I'm confessing to it. gone horribly wrong here. I've just noticed what's gone horribly wrong. Something's gone horribly, horribly, horribly wrong here. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. You've gone horribly wrong, Emma. You've gone horribly wrong. Really, really horribly wrong. Right, so we must have had something on top of there. Yep, yep, absolutely horribly wrong. You've gone horribly, oh, and a great scattering. You've gone horribly wrong. Please do it better next time. Okay, doing it better now. Look, the upside of this, of course, is that you're getting to see uh, the lovely tiling again. Mm. Yeah. Well, I went horribly wrong, horribly wrong, wrong, really horribly wrong. All right, I'm going to do one more line. That's all gone wrong, uh, and then that will be it for today. But let's just finish this off in, in a nice fashion, shall we? I did that. Four. two long ones. Yeah. Okay. And that. I oh, missed that one as well. Caramba. been quite a mess, haven't I? Just checking. Yes, that needs a... That needs that in there. Now we're at 46 minutes. I think that's... Yes, okay. Yeah. I think that's a good place to stop for today. Super. All right then. So, um... That's part one of bag six, and I'll see you tomorrow.